If you love dogs, you might want to pay attention here. <laughs> 12 Harmful Things You Do to Your Dog Without Realizing It Hey, if you're a dog owner, you surely want your pooch to be healthy and to live a long and happy life. But you might sometimes do things that can potentially harm your canine companion without even realizing it. Dogs are curious, adventurous, and childlike. It's a beautiful thing, but it can also get them into trouble. We don't want that, of course, so here are some common mistakes people unintentionally make when it comes to taking care of their doggies. Now, before we dive into this pool of knowledge, remember to hit that subscribe button. This way, you'll get access to all the cool, useful videos that appear daily on the Bright Side of Life. Counting down from number 12. Choosing the wrong collar. First and foremost, you need to choose the right kind of collar. This decision is very important, and it's also quite personal. There are several types of collars, and you need to pick the one that best suits the needs and character of your pup, as well as a place to attach his license. A flat collar. This is the most widespread type, and you can find them at any pet store. It comes with a buckle so that you can change the length of the collar to your liking and as your pup grows. A breakaway collar. This type was created mostly for dogs that spend a lot of time outside. It comes undone once there's a threat of a choking hazard, like with fences or branches. If your dog is an inquisitive pup with the soul of an explorer, this collar will be perfect for them. Special collars for dog training. You might not want to use these sorts of collars if you have a very young puppy, since they're mostly designed for behavioral training. In any case, everything depends on your pet's age. A harness. If your dog is a puller or likes to explore as far as it can reach, adding a harness might be a better option for your furry friend. Collars can seriously injure your pet's throat if it pulls too hard on its leash. But that's not a problem with pulling on a harness. So, whether you've settled on a harness or gone for a collar, the second and just as important step is making sure it's the right size. If a collar or harness is too big, your pooch might escape. Yet, if it's too small, it can choke him. The general rule is that for small and medium-sized breeds, you should be able to slip one finger between the collar or harness and the dog's neck. For large and extra-large dogs, two fingers should fit. And don't forget to check the tightness every once in a while, especially while your pup is still growing. Plus, dogs, just like people, can put on weight over time. Hey, don't remind me. Number 11. Leaving a dog alone in the car. Never, ever leave your dog alone in the car. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the temperature inside a car can increase by 20 degrees in just 10 minutes, even if the car is parked in the shade. The National Highway Traffic Safety Association confirms this data and adds that even if the temperature outside is a pleasantly cool 60 degrees Fahrenheit, it can skyrocket up to 110 degrees inside a car. Dogs don't sweat like people do, and they can overheat much faster than you'd think. And since they lack this crucial ability to cool themselves off, the consequences of staying in a parked car can turn out fatal. Signs of overheating include drooling and panting excessively and looking overall agitated. Symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, or lethargy indicate a life-threatening emergency. In this case, the dog needs to see a vet immediately. Number 10. Neglecting your dog's teeth. You know, a dog's teeth need to be cleaned just like people's teeth do. And it's not an issue of aesthetics here, it's a necessity. That's why you should start doing it as soon as you get your pup, so that they get used to having their teeth brushed. Three times a week is okay in the beginning, or if your dog's teeth are healthy. But working up to doing it daily is best. And no, giving your canine some chew stick treats can't replace regular brushing. Those minty chews don't clean the back teeth as well as a toothbrush can. Don't use toothpaste and toothbrushes designed for people. There are special ones made just for dogs, and they're pretty different from the human kinds. 
You've probably never tried any chicken or beef-flavored toothpaste, right? Canine toothbrushes usually have smaller heads and really soft bristles. If you don't have one, you can use a kid's toothbrush, a cotton swab, or even a piece of gauze wrapped around your finger. But still, you can easily get a doggy toothbrush and toothpaste from your local pet store or from your vet. Speaking of which, you need to have your pet's teeth professionally cleaned at the vet twice a year. Yep, just like people. Now, here's my secret bonus tip. If you can get your dog hooked on gnawing on special plastic bones, you get the best of both worlds. This activity satisfies his need to chew, keeps him busy while discouraging destructive chomping, and cleans your doggy's teeth automatically. My 9-year-old pal Riley has never needed professional cleaning due to this fun chewing habit he started as a puppy. His vet is astonished at his pearly whites at every checkup, to my great joy, and I save a lot of money that way. Number 9. Letting your dog eat everything You should never feed human food to your dog. It's way too salty, too spicy, and too fatty for them. In fact, most dishes you eat are severely toxic for them. Take candy, chewing gum, baked goods, and even some diet foods. They contain a special sweetener called xylitol. If your dog ingests it, their blood sugar may drop, and this can lead to liver failure. Avocados, in turn, contain persin. This toxic can cause severe vomiting and diarrhea in your pooch. Well, not to be Captain Obvious here, but never give your dog alcohol. It affects a canine's liver and brain much more easily than it does a human's. Alcohol in a dog system can lead to diarrhea, vomiting, troubles with breathing and coordination, and in the worst cases, coma and death. The full list of products that can cause serious problems in your pet's health is miles long. Still, some of the main ones include coffee, tea, and other caffeinated drinks, grapes and raisins, milk and other dairy products, fatty bones and trimmings, peaches, plums, and persimmons – hey, they all start with P – raw eggs, milk, and fish, salty and sugary foods, and, of course, the infamous chocolate. You also shouldn't give your dog any table scraps while you're having a meal. This teaches undesirable begging habits – oh please, can I have some more? <laughs> and dogs are, in fact, incredibly quick learners when it comes to things they're not allowed to do. Number 8 bringing puppies to a dog park. Dogs are very social, but think twice before taking a small puppy to a dog park. To begin with, dogs can sometimes be passive carriers of diseases. Secondly, grown-up dogs, especially large ones, can be incredibly rough when playing and running around. They may inadvertently scare or even accidentally hurt your little pup. Number 7. Using physical punishment. Yes, dogs do need training. Their owners need it even more. But physical punishment is never okay. First of all, it's just outright animal abuse. Plus, it doesn't work and actually does the opposite of what you want. It makes your dog scared of you. Reward-based training is much more effective than physical discipline, and here's why. While reward-based training helps build trust between a dog and his human, Physical punishment breeds distrust of humans in general. Reward-based training encourages a dog to behave in a desired way. But when a dog is physically punished, it may try to hide, start urinating uncontrollably, and freeze in submission because it's scared to death. Reward-based training helps a dog learn and perform a desired behavior. However, when an owner uses physical punishment, a dog can concentrate only on one thought. This hurts, and I don't like it. Think about it. Do you like getting hit? Didn't think so. You like rewards? Duh. See? Dogs are no different than you. So, if your dog does things you'd prefer he didn't, sign them up for obedience school, which is as much for teaching you as it is for the dog. The very best time to do this is when they are puppies, when the concrete hasn't hardened yet, and you can more easily install positive habits and behaviors. Number 6. Providing too little stimulation Just like you, dogs need constant mental and physical stimulation, especially working breeds, which is why regular walking is a must. 
If you're thinking about getting a dog, consider whether or not you'll be able to provide this necessity. Walks not only provide dogs with much-needed exercise, they expose your pup to different sounds and smells. This sensory stimulation, in turn, makes their brain work better. If dogs don't get enough stimulation, they'll simply try to entertain themselves. This, unfortunately for owners, usually comes in the form of digging, chewing, or tearing things up. Number 5. Not securing your dog in the car People use seatbelts, kids use car seats, so why would the case be any different for your dog? If you don't secure your dog in the car and you end up in an accident, your pet can get seriously injured or even killed. You've got tons of options when it comes to canine car safety. There are harness seat belts, zipline harnesses, different types of carriers, and doggy ejection seats. Woohoo! <laughs> Just kidding. Just find the one that suits your needs. Number 4. Yelling when your dog does something wrong. Yelling is another thing you should never consider when disciplining a dog. Just like physical punishment, it doesn't work. They don't understand, no, so it only freaks your dog out, especially when you're ticked off about something that happened a while ago. In this case, your dog won't only be scared, it'll be confused too. Number 3. Skipping flea tick and worming treatment Preventative treatment against parasites is crucial when you're a dog owner. Some people say you can take a break from flea tick and heartworm medicine in winter if you live in a cold climate. But you really should discuss it with your veterinarian. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Number 2. Leaving harmful objects around Well, dogs are adventurous and this gets them into all sorts of trouble. Dog-proof your house by putting away anything your pet can chew or swallow. Things like medications, screws and nails, magnets, coins and batteries should never be within your pet's reach. Socks seem to be every dog's favorite pulling toy. But keep in mind that if a pooch swallows one, it can get stuck in their throat. Number 1. Neglecting breed-specific health issues Now, some breeds require specific grooming or have a predisposition to certain health issues. Always do your research before you get a pet so that you'll know how to best take care of it and what problems to look out for. So, if you're a dog owner or simply a dog lover, then give this video a like and share it with all the dog people you know. And if you have